Sweet Jesus Radio. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Welcome to Sweet Jesus Radio. Bobby me, Bobby. <laughs> oh, Bobby making me laugh, getting off to a weird start. Coming to you from L Stu Recording Studio. studio. Again, Bobby in the house eating a cheeseburger he pulled out of his pocket. That was my co host. That was a bite, dude. Chill. Oh, yo, what are you talking about? My co host for the evening and many evenings to follow. Yeah. AKA Rob Bass with a double S. Yeah, and no E. And no E. Not to be, yeah. confu- not to be confused with the, uh, the Italian rapper. Is that guy still alive? I think he's. Uh, Yo, I wish her well, but in like a nursing pre- home. Like I, I wish, yeah, I wish her well, name, but, but pretty soon, like I will be the only Rob Bass left. Well, yeah, so you're counting the days. No, I've just been waiting patiently. You've you been know trying what I'm to saying? put hexes on him. Don't lie. Hey, dude, um, did you trip out today? Like I don't know. What, what did you do today? Because I, I tripped out today all day long on McGregor talking mad shit, yo. <laughs> okay, let's, let's do the intro of the guest real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, thanks. Special guest in the house tonight. As I, I basically say the same shit every time. Uh, Alrighty, artist, El Paso, gallery owner, business owner, shop owner. Yep. My boy, Jam. Yes, sir. What's good? Not much, man. Thanks for having me. Hell yeah, man. Thanks for coming out. So, how's your day so far? Long. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Every day's long. Let's see. Break it down. What did you do today? Uh, woke up. Had some Cheerios. All right. Um, Honey no. nut or plain? Oh, no, no, no. Sugar-free. All right, all yeah, right. Sugar-free. No nut. Right. <laughs> nut. Nut-free. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta stay nut-free, dog. Um, uh, yeah, me too, unfortunately. Yeah, I know, right? Um, Besides the, the point hub. <laughs> this is getting all weird. <laughs> Welcome. To uh, I think I gotta go. And, uh, um, it's getting late. It's getting late. It's getting late. Check, please. Um, no, man, it, it's it's been a crazy day. Yeah. Started, started early. Uh, we had a photo shoot. Well, we actually had an interview with uh, Tobias Brown, Crystal Poppin, nice. Mike Cloud, uh, DS Junior at the at the gallery today. Shout out to LFDC. Yes, sir. So um, at the gallery. At the okay, gallery cool. today. Um, Raheem. Raheem Boss. Oh. Yeah, I've seen him on Facebook. I don't think I've actually ever met him, or maybe I haven't. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. he's, he's good people. He's tr- he's going to start doing, I don't, I don't know if he has done it, or he's barely going to start doing it. And it's uh, like a, a weekly web series. Okay. Um, kind of t- touching on local talent and stuff so like that. Is it video? Video, okay. straight video. So they're interviewing all of them today. Um, they're going to continue tomorrow at the gallery, I believe, as well. So it's nice. been a... So that's what you were doing today. Being a uh, plain Be, host. A plain host. Plain exactly. host and babysitter today. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. Paparazzi. Cool, man. So Ooh. listeners, as usual, as we do here on Sweet Jesus Radio, going to the background, got to get the origin stories, got to figure out what makes Jam tick, plus talking about upcoming projects and a bunch of other things he's got going on, present, past, future. All right, Jam, so... Background wise, like I told you earlier, we want to go a little deeper than other episodes. You know, give me some of the highlights. But uh, are you born and raised in El Paso or somewhere yeah, yeah, else? Yeah. I don't like to assume. That's why. <clears throat> no, that's yeah. like a small thinking thing, just to assume everybody's from El Paso. El Paso, right? Yeah. yeah no, probably. it's like you um, never know. You know, like what happened with Otis Hicks? He's he's been all over the fucking place. Born in Germany. Oh shit. The the comedian. Yeah, that kid's pretty traveled. That, that's gonna be posted soon. But so, but yeah, El Paso. Uh, yeah, originally born and raised here. Um, Lived here pretty much all my life. I moved when I was like 22, all right. 22, 23 to Albuquerque. I lived out Ooh, there for a while. Shout out to Albuquerque. Yeah, man. It's To me, it's a, like my second home for a long time. Like, I was out there every other week. Yeah, dude, that's a shows. way more progressive El Paso, basically. It's yeah. a party town. It's, it's a like party town. town. <laughs> Albuquerque's crazy. That's you crazy. know, we all know like, so many people out there. Yeah, yeah. That, that was actually that's the first fun. time I, I had a, a gun pulled out on me. Yeah, in ABQ, yeah. Damn, yeah, son. Yeah, it was, uh, that, happened to, that happened to me here. I've been shot at, but I've never had a gun pulled on. Yeah. It was not a, they weren't shooting at me. It was like shooting at just the crowd. It was, it was, like it was New shooting. Year's. They were shooting up in the air. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. It was actually a it, little it, poppers. It, it might come back down. Hey, the bullets come down, bro. It counts. Well, that's why you move. <laughs> so, <laughs> cool. So, you were out in Albuquerque for how long? A um, little less than a year. Okay. Um, I was out there for a little less than a year. Um. We planned to, me and my friends, we planned to move to, to L.A. Uh, the day before the day before we moved, I actually got a call from my mom that my dad had a massive heart attack. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I, the very next day, I when I could, I, my back. car was already packed and ready. Oh, it, are you it serious? Was, it was like, like the all, day of? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, my car was ready. Literally, everything was packed. The whole house was cleared out. So, That's nuts. so uh, I came back to El Paso. I stayed here for three months, three, four months. Mm. I, I helped nurse my dad back to good health. During that time, my mom, uh, they found a tumor in her spine. What the? And so she had to have emergency, sur emergency surgery. So, uh, That's rough. Yeah, so af after four or five months being here, uh, three, four, three, four months, I moved to, uh, to Long Beach. Oh, okay. So you yes. lived other, besides oh, yeah, yeah. Albuquerque, also yeah, yeah, Long well, Beach. Okay. Yeah, California is more my home than my yeah. past was. Oh, yeah. Just like you said, Albuquerque is you. Like, well, it was just like this period of time where I was just going out there for shows a, yeah. a ton and raves and shit. The, oh, shit. You the rave? real raves, guys. <laughs> I'm not a raver, but... Well, he, you know, he, he dabbled. He dabbled. <laughs> he is wearing the raver. Yeah, but I wasn't now. just going for like, you know... I got taught about the music and shit. Yeah. You know, yeah, from you, some real you, dudes. You didn't look like a raver. Nah, I wasn't judging you, but you know, I wasn't gonna wear. You're the, I wasn't gonna wear fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna rock a pacifier and shit. But I like. But he has one right now. Rock one, but <laughs> no, now, anyway. now during sex, I you know suck on a pacifier. <laughs> but that's that one time a year. That is that like? Does that mean something? That's weird. No, back then it was chupon. My what's a what's a is that a binky? Is that what they call binky? me? My binky. No, that's no, hashtag binky. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my new nickname, too. That's my nickname in high school. That's binky. his size, a binky. <laughs> hey, but you know what? Um, um, no, because I had a homie that, you know, Eric Coleman, you know, he taught yeah. me a lot. And, and Sergio, they taught me about, they showed me the good house DJs from back then, late 90s, early 2000s. So, you know, I, was, I wasn't there, I was in, there just to, to take part in the, the party favors was also for the music too, but you actually learned, some, learned where yeah. it really stemmed from. Yeah, and I was you know listening to a lot of the the house. Mostly, I stuck to mostly of the, mostly the house, yeah. deep house shit. But but yeah, you know the, I uh, consumed some things and skittles, some, some skittles. So, dude, how, how old was all that when like all that was going on with your parents? How old were you during that time? Oh man, just so you know, before we go on, like I'm horrible with dates and numbers, like yeah, yeah. so like. So, so the rumors I, are true. So I can say like I'm 42 and I'm really like 32. <laughs> Back when I was uh, 28, <laughs> 1976, I was uh, born at a very young age. <laughs> um, pretty much, right? Um, I was I would say I was like 25. Oh, okay. Like 25. Roughly. How old are you now? It's been a while. 32. I'm 32 word, now. Word, word. Yeah. 32. Let me ask you this: How was your childhood? Great. Go into detail on that. Growing um, up. Yeah. Super, obviously, both parents. Both parents still thank God. To, you know, to this day. Um, Super supportive parents, you know, really nurturing parents, but wasn't, you know, scared to teach me right from wrong, you know. All right. You know, um, so kind of strict, a lot strict, very strict. Strict or not, when they needed to be, for right. sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't, I, I mean, I don't got no kids. But with so, love. So, so, so they taught me something, right? You know, but no they still use anybody. the L word. They still, they still, cause so, 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 no accidents? No. No, but you know, uh, <laughs> no, but they, they were, they, they said they you know some parents don't like to say love. They oh, love no, their man. some some dads are like macho or even some moms. You are know, my, my dad is like the toughest guy I, I, I've ever known in my life. And um, it's <laughs> I, I can't even think of any time that I've seen him cry hmm. or, or, or choke up. And if he does slightly, like he sucks that shit in. Like he's some know, allergies, motherfucker. Don't, fucking look, yeah. don't look at me. Don't look at me. You know, well, he's 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 originally from uh, from Thomas Manor, like Segundo Vario oh, and all shit. that. That's so, all. How old is he? My dad's 60, 65. You might know my my uncle. What's your dad's name? What's your uncle's name? Uh, anybody Reyes from Southside El Paso, they'll know what's I up. I guarantee. Dog. Oh, we like that dog? What's yeah, up? Dog, yeah. <laughs> but in a good way. Like if it's, oh, well, yeah. you never know. I never know. That. Uh, <laughs> no, it's uh, my uncle's, because it's closer to my uncle than my dad. My dad's 60, 61, but my uncle's about 65, 66. Probably. Uncle. My uncle's Polo Reyes, Leopoldo Reyes. Uh, Polo? Yeah. And my dad's Jesus, but they nobody called him Jesus. They call him Cui. One of my dad's best friends. C U Y. Was, his name was Polo. Reyes. That's I mean, There's wanna, not that many Polos down there. I want it's being made on I, Sweet Jesus Radio. I want to say me. No, dude. Every time somebody says they have a somebody that grew up, their parents. Yeah, 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 everyone yeah, knows each other. They, they know. They know yeah. my uncle or my dad or Real my uncle. Uh, about the kid thing. Do you want to have kids? Oh. I know you don't have kids. Right nah, now. hell no. Nah. I'm 38, nah. dude. I'm like on the I'm, no kids I'm, program. I'm two, I'm so two brothers like that. Yeah, you, know? yeah, yeah. you said you're 32. I should be an inspiration yeah. to you though, dude, because I I got six years in you at this point. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm looking up to you right now. What's that? Huh? 
I'm looking up to you right now. 39, I'm already... Hey, they say scientifically, like, supposedly, well, yeah. the Where early 30s is, is when you get the, uh, the, the baby bug, fever. The bug, yeah. I supposedly. had it. I had it. I took some fucking pills. I'm good. Yeah, you got the... That's gone. The fucking yeah, the, baby fever vaccine. <laughs> yeah, I got the shot. Kids, I hate circle, kids, circle, dot, dot. Yeah, kids that are shit. cool, yeah, but... Yeah, I had it. I had it, and she killed it, and so that... Yeah. It all Best went $300 that. I ever spent. Best $300 I ever spent. Wow. Well, twice. No, I'm just kidding. Joke, it's a shit. Wow. It got dark real quick. Yeah. It got dark. Kidding, guys. Dark and you, already know, you already know the nature of the fucking show. Okay, so good childhood, supportive parents. Super were you smart. like a, an artist back then? You're already getting down, drawing. You know, I, I was. The kids always, were jealous of you, or how? I, how I don't know about that, but I, I've always been like business and art have always been like my two, All right. my two things. Entrepreneurial, so, like a motherfucker fashion. from day one. Well, always. All right. I remember like in. Good know, like, to have, man. Selling <laughs> lemonade and shit. No, actually, uh, when I was like in first grade, second grade, I remember students. I would uh, I would charge them like twenty five cents, or I would tell them to buy me something at like the snack bar <coughs> for uh, like cartoons I would draw for them. So uh, I would draw them like Mickey Mouse. So you were stuff. slinging the fucking art already. So That's dope. I remember like at one point I had like three or four That's like nice. the, dope, the dope. little cupcakes stashed in my my desk Damn. because I was just slinging art. So I I. I hate to say it, but I, I've, been, I've been doing like I was. I was literally. Meant Have you to saved do any this. of those like from back then? Any of your art? actually? Yeah, not so long ago, I was um, going through my dad's storage room and I found a whole bunch of like old random ass like characters I was doing. And I, believe it or not, I'm actually going to bring a couple back. Nice. I'm going to revamp them and kind of nice. use them. Nice. See, that's know. why I wanted to go a little deeper because yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you know people would like to. That's an interesting little fact right there. You know what I'm saying? A little. Yeah. So you would, you would slang good since I mean I knew I knew, I knew guys that would. They could draw badass, but they weren't. They didn't have the entrepreneurial mindset. Mm -hmm. They weren't slanging there. They weren't trading for shit, but they could draw. But they weren't trading it. You so know? how old were you at this point again? That was like when I was. I mean, in we're talking about the when he was a kid. Like he was first or, first or second grade. Oh, so sure. however yeah, old that is. Trading, like eight, trading, eight, uh, eight or nine or something like that. Yeah, something like trading that. drawings oh, for yeah, candy yeah, and yeah. shit. And I used to draw actually like for uh, for my teachers. Yeah. So if I ever felt like I was like, <laughs> like in the rough with them, like I would, I would. When I turn that C into a B, uh, like so right? D into a C, you just naturally had that drawing flow. It was just coming out of you. But it's also the entrepreneurial side. But you know what? You know, it's because my my dad, like I remember, side. I remember my dad, like I would tell him, like draw me a plane, and he would sit there, like even if he was busy, like he would just stand there, like he would draw like a dope little plane, or he would draw like six or seven different styles of planes. He could draw he, too. Yeah, hey, my dad's nice. my dad's pretty dope. I mean, I, I wish he would have kept up with it. I wish he would have. Yeah. I wish he would practice to, to this day. I try yeah. to tell him like, let me buy your sketchbook. I don't know what you're saying. Because like some he, people, he it's like it. you know, they have it, but he, they don't like work at it. He has it, in even it. I'm kind of like that. I can and draw and I see my dad like you know with what I do, I see him. I it's not jealous. It's just like he looks at me like fuck. Like I, I wish no, I could have yeah, done yeah, more yeah. with it. Cause. Cause I'm, I, I think, that's I think I'm, a, I've accomplished, you know, that's, a, a yeah, decent yeah. amount. So that's what life's about, man. You can't, well, you know, not all life. I'm not, but I'm saying you, you don't want to leave uh, too nope. many ifs out there. Yeah. Like at least give it a shot. Yeah. Even if sure. it doesn't have to be on a grand fucking level, but I know, take I've, it, a, you know, work at some shit. If you got absolutely. a little bit of a talent, absolutely. work at it a little bit further, a little bit more than you already are. Uh, that goes for anybody. Dude, so what type of art are you working on? Like nowadays? <clears throat> uh, currently. I'm actually, I actually just got a reminder, not that I forgot, but it's just, life is, goes so, super fast right now. So, um, right now I'm working on uh, pieces for an exhibit at uh, Gallery Rosa Gallery. It's on Montana. It's a beautiful gallery. If people haven't been there, they definitely need to check it out. Where's that at, though? Montana? It's, it's off of Montana. It's right the, next. Cross Street? It's right the next to um, the El Paso Museum of Art. Oh, okay. So, right, literally right in yeah. front of it, it's. Dope gallery. It's very high end. It's very posh. Um, what style are you working on though? Like, what do you? Well, that, for, for, well, for that show, for for that show, what's kind of dope is the lady, who, the gallery owner. Uh, when I met her, was when I first moved back to El Paso, I was actually doing some painting. I was doing some graffiti, uh, live painting, and it's, it was this older lady that just came up to me and she was staring at me and she she asked me, started asking me I get questions. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> she, started, she started asking me questions. Uh, about what I was doing, you know, my technique, and I thought it was kind of weird. And <laughs> at yeah, first, and I was, you know, because she, she was just asking like so much, like yeah. super in depth. And wow. she, at the end, she's like, "Well, I'm a gallery owner." And once she said Ooh. that, I was like, "Oh, so in that case, yeah, in that, in that case, let me share more." <laughs> you're all rude to her at first, and then she said that you're like, "I wasn't oh, rude. Nice. It's just, it's just if, I, if I'm in the zone, like yeah, I'm in the like, zone, and I want, I just, I just want to do it. Like, let me yeah. just paint. Like, yeah. let me do what I'm. Well, I'm as a gallery, as a gallery, as a gallery owner, she should like have known, like, like. 
Like, give him some space here. <laughs> yeah, but I think she's super inquisitive and right. she just wanted to know because she's... Sometimes people are totally unaware of their fucking Abs- shit. Abs- Absolutely. So um, the, the, the thing is, is she asked me, have you ever thought about doing a, a exhibit, like a street art exhibit? I was like, well, yeah, I've done plenty in L.A. <laughs> like, you know, L.A. I, you know who I am? Uh, you know you get, me, bitch. I <laughs> grabbed her by her cardigan and fucking I shook her. Yeah, and, you should. I mean, as you should. Her, her brooch fell off. As you and should. It was, it was fucked as up. You um, <laughs> now, you know, two yeah, broken hips know. later. <laughs> I'm still painted off. Uh, um, no, no. So, so she asked me, and I was like, absolutely. And she had told me that she wanted to do her first street art kind of urban art uh, exhibit at her gallery. So, oh, sure. super honored that I was basically the first person she asked. Oh, and, for real? She asked me, do you have any other artists? So I, I mentioned a few other um, artists like um, Juan Ornelas, which does amazing kind of like pop art stuff. Um, a couple of other artists uh, like Franchella was in the show. Okay. Um, the tattoo artist. Shout and out she, to Franchella. She's dope. Shout you know, out to uh, Angelo's things. wife, right? Huh? Angelo's wife? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Dreadful things. Yeah, yeah dreadful things. Yeah. So uh, I believe it was like six artists all together. And uh, the pieces okay. that I did for that were, it was a mixture between like kind of fine art slash urban art. So I did a really kind of a graffiti, you know, graffiti-esque mm. uh, backgrounds with beautiful like flowers in the foreground, nice. you know, sitting right on top of it. So it was this really beautiful. Can people find it somewhere online or is um, it out? Is that, is, has there <laughs> pictures been taken yet? Or? Oh yeah, absolutely. There's tons of pictures. Actually, uh, I, I have still one piece, the largest piece, which is about, it's about six feet tall. Still um, in there? It's still at my gallery right now. All the right. biggest piece. Uh, the other two were, have since been sold to the same person, which is All awesome. Right. All right, so um, that was that was that. And so for this next show, it's kind of the same thing. She kind of wants pop art, urban street art, you nice. know. And uh, <laughs> once again, it's gonna be four four artists for the show. I believe it's in. I know my my artwork's due in March, but it's like not until April, April or May. Got some time. Got some time. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> three three big pieces, man, and I'm really busy as it is. So damn, shit. So we sidetracked a little, man. Let's go back to the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. background shit. Talk yeah. about the 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 teenage years, man. Just uh, were you into sports? Any other hobbies? You're into that. You know, right? You do that a lot here. I've never <laughs> Actually, done that. Dude. I knew he was gonna do. I felt it. I was like, he's gonna do pop felt and like, and see, I've never this force is it. strong with this one. It is. It is. But uh, yeah, just your adolescent years. Uh, any milestones? Any highlights there? Uh, you know, any anything art related? Um, Throw some names, people you met, sheesh. and you know, hobbies, interests around that time. Well, you know, what, what, were what, you the popular kid in high school? Were you the nerd, a geek? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. If, I don't know if I was so, popular, but so whatever. Everything I said, just boom, just go. let loose. Just, just go. Yeah. Um, well, I know in high school, in high school, it's, it's kind of pertains to everything that who I am now. In high school, I uh, actually used to draw a lot of the party flyers. <clears throat> hmm. So if See. you ever got like a party flyer that had a girl with like big tits and a cake behind them and weed plants, <laughs> like most likely I probably drew them. It's like, a jam flyer. Yeah. So that's kind of where. So I kind of went in on, on this hiatus for like a few years, you know, kind of middle school. I wasn't really doing that much art. I think it's an awkward stage for like a lot of people. And I wasn't, wasn't really doing much. I was yeah. trying to find who All I right. was. I was like a little skater. Um, and, but in high school, I kind of had a little party crew I was a part of. And I was making mm. all the fucking flyers. Which party crew? I'd rather not say. I'd rather not say. A little uh, blemish on the timeline there. Uh, the yeah, history. I'd rather not say. Um, and I won't tell you what <laughs> it turned into a gang. Because <laughs> it turned into a gang, that's why. Yeah, yeah. I'm still wanted, actually. Um, I, already, I can probably guess it, but I'm not going to. Nah, you can't. You don't even know what high school I went to. Doesn't matter. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> he Crazy alcoholics. Hey, you know throw some, CA, throw some, bro. Throw some party crew though. Uh, what was what was UI? What was UI called? Fucking uh, under the influence. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck those dudes, by the way. Oh shit! Oh, shit. Shots, shots fired, my friends. I'm just kidding. hashtag <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> Throwback. <here>. I'm joking. <laughs> It's an uptight night, <laughs> which is also the name of my new single. Mm, uptight night, baby, yeah. Oh, that's the name of my uh, porn debut. Uptight, uptight night. night. <laughs> I don't know why. It's actually like you and Dre, like it's up, like tight, tight to the back night. So uh, you like, tucked Miana, very well. It's me on a sex wing, in the cover. He, he's tucked well, and he's feeling swole. I swell. 
<laughs> uptight night. <laughs> uptight night. <laughs> Hashtag uptight night. Uh, swell. Swole. I said it wrong, dude. <laughs> you, <can't, laughs> you said he's swole. <laughs> so you guys. That, that, I'm just. This, the title for the, the mar- marijuana. I'm trying to help. Uh, I'm trying to help you with a little bit of like some creative, like you know. Apparently, some, some creative titles. <laughs> I'm All right. not trying to help him out like let's, that. Let's, let's cap off the uh, <laughs> the, the adolescence in the right. background. <laughs> um, adolescence. Actually, I just got a, a text. I just got a text from fucking Zyme One. He says, oh, for real? to shout him out. Oh, because oh, sure. did you post something? <laughs> yeah. So shout out to shout out to Zyme, man. He's dope. That's good. His new al- his new album's fucking dope. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's dope. He's dope people, man. We're gonna have him on the show very soon. He's dope. He's good. Actually, people. in uh, in talks, we're we're chatting today. So. Good, good, good. Zyme one, shout out to Zyme one. Yes, sir. Shout yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> the whole Fuya radio. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah. The, the party flyers. So I was doing the party flyers in high school a lot. Um, I was actually nominated most likely to. I think I was I'm nominated most likely to succeed mm. and uh, most fashionable oh, in shit. high school. Oh, so uh, <clears throat> it, came, it came true. <laughs> Needless to say, that's that's oh, very accurate. True. Yeah. <laughs> Holds true to this day. <laughs> what was what were you voted, D? I was, I was voted shortest in my class. Uh, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, <laughs> with the, uh, the D with the, the quality content. Oh, yeah. <laughs> most likely not to grow. Yeah. <laughs> what were you voted, Jesus? Most likely to do what? He wasn't even voted. I wasn't even. I'm sure he even go to school. I'm sure he was in there. What school? What, what was I? What, what would I be voted? You guys tell me. That's beer. Something. Mine was. I was. <laughs> I did have a mustache. That, true that. And that came true. Voted to have <laughs> most voted to be uh, to be on the five year program. I was voted. I was voted most likely to own a Prius, and it never happened. Oh shit! <laughs> There's still time. There's still Prius. time. There's still time, dog. <laughs> Get on that. The night man. is young. <laughs> Nine is young. We're going to flock of single. Take a picture of this shit. His emo ass hair. Put it more Goodbye, in the middle. Put it more in the middle. Horses. Put it more in the middle. <laughs> oh, in the middle? Like this? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. I'm crying over you. Hold on, wait, hold on. The glasses fuck it all up. Goodbye, horse. I started pausing when I started seeing the flashes, dude. dude. Just like my last acid trip. For the listeners, they got uh, Bobby Seagulls, Flock of Bob Gulls, or Dr. Jekyll. Flock of Sea Bobs? Dr. Jekyll. Flock of Sea Bobs. Do a video. Do the the, the Flock of Sea Bobs again. No, we're going to do it again. God damn it. Hey, that shit looks dope. (laughs) Hold on, dude. Like a sea bobs. Hey, bro. Hey, where's the? Can we get? Can we get makeup in here? <laughs> Let me get makeup. Some foundation. Making makeup and lighting. Like a sea bob. Goodbye, horses. You'll see the video and know it's true. Goodbye. Are you taking video or not? Do the Instagram one where you can use Insta man. Yo, girl. You you need an Insta man. I'm right here. Sorry, listeners. We're taking a a flock of sea bob break. <laughs> you're gonna edit it out why not? then why did oh, we fuck no. wow really know. all right so anyway i'm out of here dude talk about the talk about the shop then next man um what's it call for the listeners i already know what it's called but what's it call when was it opened established and what what's it about what what can people find in there okay cool so uh so the name of the gallery slash store is a uh, dream chaser club we also call it DCC. That's the name of the brand. All right. Um, it's, I started it like seven, six, seven years ago as, yeah. as, a, as a clothing line. Okay. It was really, it was really meant I, as a positive motivator for myself. I, it wasn't something I was trying to make yeah. money off of, trying to do. Um, I actually got in a horrible fight with my, uh, my best friend, and he told me like, my, my art sucked, and my, nobody would ever buy my clothing. <laughs> and this was when I was living in the East Coast. This was, so I told him, like, I basically said, fuck you. I, I got a moving truck. I worked it's double like those... double shifts for like two weeks. Yeah. To yeah. to save up like three thousand bucks to, to pay for everything, and I moved I moved back to El Paso. It's like those cheap <laughs> shots that people take at you that aren't even true. Like, it's a skinny chick. You're so fat. Fuck you, anyways. You're all fat, anyway. Like you know what I'm saying? Like those like non like no creativity in the fucking diss. Your heart sucks. Yeah. You know it doesn't, but like. 
<laughs> well, yeah, you know, it just the thing was like this is my best friend since I was six. Yeah. Like we were, we were like brothers. I'm just saying, step it no, up. No, yeah, like, this is. Like, yeah, it's just it, ridiculous. You know, it's from creativity. In he, there. He's just kind of he, he's the kind of person that really is all about money. He's he he wants to get the kind of job to 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 make the most money possible. Right. And I've never been about that. I've always wanted to just live my life and do me. Like I mean, if I have money, the money comes. Yeah, money comes. Best friend becomes strangers. You know, money definitely comes. That's why. That's why the the motto has really turned into chase dreams, not money. And yeah, oh, I've seen that. Yeah, early. Yeah, you get a lot I like of that. Order on here, man. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm just saying he gets a lot of support. I, on yeah, here. I, I hope so. I really do. I, I, mean, I, I know you got Jay Red one supporting you and a, a slew of other uh, people that are. Leading the nightlife industry, and then yeah, there's tons, you know, and and the, the way that I think that came about was just I stayed true to what I believed in, and people started asking me like for sponsorship, and I was oh. like, fuck, like I was like, okay, <laughs> he's all, he's he's all, I'm looking for sponsors too. <laughs> I was like, fuck, help me out, you know. Yeah. Um, no, so I started, you know, that's where I uh, the first person I actually started sponsoring was was uh, was Red One, right. you know, uh, who's Jason? Red One. Uh, J- he goes by Jason Craig now. Shout out Jason Craig. Oh, I think I know who that boy, is. Dude. No, I know who that is. Yeah. So, I don't know him well. But yeah, yeah. You're a boy, right? Yeah. Yeah, dude, yeah. I don't know him that well. So, he was the first person I uh, started sponsoring, you know, when I first moved out here. And then it went into, uh, you know, Tobias Brown, uh, Crystal Poppin, Mike Cloud. LFTC. Pretty much, man. Well, you know, as they say, corner. Corner. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so I started sponsoring them and... So that you know, honestly, it's very hard to for me to explain DCC and what it is because it's be, it's, it's, like it's everything. It's, it's everything. Abstract kind of. It's absolutely everything. You know, DCC is anything creative. You know, it's, what's dope is I work with amazingly talented. You know, musicians. You know, LFDC helps me out with a lot of the production. You know, they do most of like my I don't want to say commercials, but like ads and stuff that All I right. do. Um, you know, uh, Danny from uh, LFDC. He, do, he LFDC. He does, um, he does like a lot of my photography and stuff, and he gets, you know, dope girls to come through, wear the gear, or stop by the shop. So, you know, I have so much love from them. You know, I help, uh, I help them out as much as I can, equally. That's a dope hat, DCC hat, by the way. Thank you so much, man. With the uh, 3D embroidered yeah, shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So right, doing the brand, it right, doing it right, doing it right. I'm tra- the logo's I'm, great. Thank you, man. I, I, I mean, I, I think it's something that people like have done, you know, as far as like a, an X, but. I, I want to say I've really cre- I, I, I created it my own. Like, I really marketed and branded it as... Put, com- put the jam twist on it. Yeah, I mean, it's something still its own thing. Like, nobody's right. really doing what I'm trying to do, and that's not an arrogant thing. It's just right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm purposely trying to be different. I don't, I don't want to be like everybody else. And Have you ever had that? Anybody uh, accuse you of being arrogant? All my, all my ex-girlfriends? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Shout out to them. Damn, um, ex-girlfriends. No, no, way. no, not, not even. Um, you heard it here first. Right. right. Nah, but you know, in general, like in the scene, like, ah, fuck that fool. Like, I think everyone thinks I'm a dick. Everyone thinks I'm an asshole. Are God, you an asshole? God bless you. Thank you so God bless much. you. Thank, hey. See? Hey, props on the cute girl sneeze. <laughs> That's cute. That was cute. What the fuck was that? It hurt, dude. <laughs> What the fuck was what, dude? <laughs> it's all mad if I sneeze. What the fuck was what? I was just joking. Seriously. I'm kidding. I sneezed, dog. I'm kidding. What the well, because it fucking hurt a little bit. It went. <laughs> yeah, I was like, whoa, what the fuck just happened? And then I saw, I also just saw some weird shit on Facebook and found a quarter inch adapter. Blew my mind. <laughs> yeah, don't lose that. <laughs> and I'm out. <laughs> Anyways. Um, Anyways, dude. No, not oh, like that. Jesus after I'm Christ. done talking, don't say anyways. It makes you feel it's weird. A joke. <laughs> it's a joke. That's just a natural reaction. Rock it. You need to control it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to see that really low. That way no one would hear it. <laughs> I heard something. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to edit this shit out real quick. Nah, fuck no. <laughs> I want the world to hear Zero the bass. <laughs> Zero edits tonight. It's actually going the to be bass. good. Anyway, what the bass. What were we talking about, though? Um, I was. Oh, you called me arrogant. Oh yeah, yeah. You, call, you called me no, arrogant. I don't think you called oh, me <laughs> I meant to. I meant to. Well, that was my indirect way of. Doing I it. felt it, so thank you. <laughs> um, no, everyone thinks I'm a dick and I'm an asshole, but I think I'm just very, I'm very structured. I'm very Welcome opinionated. You know, and and I know what I want and I go for it. So I don't. It's kind of like I don't give a shit what anyone says. Like I'm gonna do what I want, the way I want. You know, it because it's for me. So like. So just in a nutshell, guys, he is not arrogant. He's just an asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, thank, thank you for clarifying that. Clarify, hey, that's what we're about here at CG's. <laughs> but um, 
I don't think I'm arrogant. I don't think I'm arrogant. I think I'm very quiet, and I think because I'm quiet typically, and I don't go out, I don't go out. So I think people misunderstand that. Yeah, they misinterpret that as me uh, being by myself. What exactly is available at the shop there besides (laughs) art, besides T-shirts, caps? Yeah, you know, that's what else we got. That's a common misconception that all I do is like T-shirts, and you know, somebody today texted me and they're like. I forgot what they said. They're like, oh, it's so nice that Fuck you do t shirts. Oh. And I'm like, they're so cute. Yeah, like you do t shirts. And to me, like, cute that's a t-shirts. jab. Like, like, nah, I, not only do Bitch, I. you know who I am? Like, yet again. Yeah, you know who I am? I'm arrogant. It's like I told that old lady. <laughs> Ask that old lady. Yeah, fuck her brooch again. You know what I'm saying? I broke that family heirloom. Shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> did you just touch my knee? <laughs> oh, shit. Under I did the it table with my action. knee, though, so it's, Under the uh, table it's like, action. It makes it neutral. So yeah, right? but you're wearing shorts. Carry on. You're wearing short shorts. They are skin, short. Skin, to short, skin, to skin to denim. Skin to denim. Skin to denim. Hey, at least it's not skin to skin. Next time. The night is young. Did you just rub your lip on your beard? <laughs> this out. is getting really good. Check, please. I've been trying to be out for so long on this <laughs> beard. <laughs> I know, dude. Like a seagull's over here. I'm jealous. Give me half that hair. Fuck off. Dude, I'll take a third of that hair. that hair. Which one? I'll take, well, oh, okay. the butt hair. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the longest. These, these go south real quick. That's the braided with, one. With this, I don't know. <laughs> what does that even mean? You're being me? What? What are you being me? <laughs> I'm just wondering if you're being a little me. Right? No. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. What do you think the A in jam means? Asshole. Silence. <laughs> Finally, somebody gets J, it. J, asshole, M. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody finally got it. Thank God, I'm out. I can retire that name now. So it's uh well based like going off of the website or the Facebook page. I mean, I see some. Some. I mean, it is well. Yeah. Based on that, the thing but is, I know it's more like you said earlier. DCC is something bigger. That's just kind of like the home base for everything. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's so, multiple things going on. Well, of course, like I like do today. Uh, yes, boom, I do. Interview. Yeah, yeah. So I, yes, I have t-shirts. Yes, I do. But you do some trinkets, some stickers. Yeah, I do hats. Chachkis, as the kids say. Some chachkis. Is that what they say? The kids. Chachkis oh, yeah, I've heard that. Totally Eighty-year-old kids. Eighty-year-old you know kids. What chach means these days. Chachkis. Oh. You know what that man. word means? Oh. Let's fucking bing it. You won't be able to bing it though because you can't spell it. It's a hard word to spell. Motherfucker, bing is a virus. I told bing you. This vaccine. Right. The bing vaccine. Yeah. The bing vaccine. You know what that word means? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever, ever, no, I mean, it means like trinkets and yeah, yeah, yeah. chingaderas. Because I think chach yeah, and that's I just what, think like, like chingaderas. It's a weird word to spell though. Oh, it's easy. It's C-H-S-K-I-A. Spell chachkis. Close enough. You should just say key. It's a key. He's just doing a key in there. C H A C H K I K I K I K I K I K I K I believe it. I'm getting because the buzz is coming through, right? It's spelled T C H O T C H K E. Chachki spelled. That's a weird That spelling. is incorrect. Nobody would ever guess that. Hey, I just checked. Nobody Google. would ever guess that. I just, I just checked Google. You were only off Bing by that five, shit. five letters. Bing that shit. <laughs> You're good. Dude. <laughs> Scrabble says, <laughs> Scrabble <laughs> says it's your life. <laughs> Scrabble says that's not Chachki. even points. Hey, Shabba gives dog, me negative my, 10 points. My English bulldog is named... Uh, English bulldog? Shabba little white English bulldog. How do you spell it? T-A-T-C-H-A-T-C-H-A-M-I. Chami, the fucking huge EDM DJ. That's my dog, dude. Like, that's actually my... Dude, my 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 fucking... Yo, straight up. My uh my English bulldog... She she skateboards. I want to give her a big <laughs> shout out. I'm not even fucking with you. Oh, are you? You're Bobby Durdick? No, but I'm trying to be like him. Oh, apparently. Yeah, but she does. And then that, just right? want to throw that out just there. Stop. Just want to throw just that stop. out there. Shout out, Cha Cha. Hey. I love you, baby. I'll be home soon. <laughs> Guinness Book World Records. I'm not surprised to... that you don't poo tar because you ate all your urethane wheels and now you're skating bearings like Day One Song. T C H O. T C H K E. But poor baby, I'll buy you some new, some new urethane real Look soon, little shouty. Just Chachki. you wait. Chacha's <laughs> bad, dude. She like skate, dude. She's amazing. <laughs> oh man. She's just so I like. Know, did we ever get to what else do we have available in the shop? I don't even know anymore. We have, <laughs> we have skating dogs and like a sea bob. <laughs> pretty much. Anyways, yeah, we have we have uh yes we have t-shirts yes we have yeah. hats yes we have uh. You know stuff like that. I we do. Uh, I do a lot of different like sticker packs. 
All right. Um, when I first moved back, I mean, yes, there's people that are doing sticker stuff, and but it wasn't like as prevalent as it is now. Like, oh, yeah, you, you can't go anywhere like in a in a heavily pop populated area without seeing like some dope ass slaps from some dope people, and they're always the same handful of people, which is, to me, like, it's exciting, you know, because living in L.A. for so long, like, that was my life. Like, that's all I did, you know, a lot of graffiti, a lot of slaps, a lot of stencils, wheat pasting, yeah. you know, so it's dope that, like, El Paso is finally kind of caught up. Oh, yeah. It's not that it wasn't there, oh, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's, but it's pe- more people are, oh, are yeah. getting, like, you can a- ask an average girl, and she'll be like, yeah, wheat pasting. Like, she, yeah. she kind of, they she's heard it of it now. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they know what that word means. Yeah, so it kind of sucks that it's becoming mainstream, but it's, it's, a, it's a double-edged sword. It ain't really mainstream, yeah, though. It's like, girl. it ain't mainstream. I think wow. <laughs> everybody needs to be doing that, man. Everybody needs to be out there making your slabs, putting them up. Make our city cool. Like The average girl now has been told by her ex-boyfriend what that means. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Basically, <laughs> yes. Can I, can, I, can I just tell you the meaning of tchotchke? You're going to be offended. There's a couple meaning. Yeah. I'm already is, offended. Is this, Drink this, shit. this is yeah, it's UrbanDictionary.com, by the way. Oh, you went to oh, Urban, Urban Dictionary. Dictionary. Uh, a small that, that piece down. of worthless crap. It's yeah. the first. It's the yeah. first uh, result on Google. Yeah. So what does that say? Oh, worthless yeah. piece of crap. It said. Uh, yeah, thank thank you, then. Thank you, guys. <laughs> That's what I meant. I'm, I'm really happy to be here. Have <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I mentioned DC that? Yeah, some DC what do you think? What do you think? What are the C's? Oh, what are the C's for Chachkis? TC. No, it's not. It You're work. terrible. Anyways. Anyway. No, but you know what I mean? It means <laughs> fucking Urban Dictionary. Yeah, thanks, That's man. Only- hey, yo, oh, hey, yo, thanks, guys. Hey, Miriam Webster, right next time. Yeah, okay. Before you get on the fucking microphone. Well, if it was a real word, it would be there, right? No, yeah. mm. it's a fucking real word. It's a like, super like, real word. It's not my fault that you guys don't. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to Beyonce. It's not my fault you guys don't uh, do word of the day. Shout out to Beyonce. Beyonce. Hey. What? I said Beyonce. What does it take to open up a shop, man? Like from step one, uh, the the license, all the legal aspects you know what, of it. it. I don't even know. Shit. Or are you doing it all? <laughs> no, okay. it's um, no, you got you got to have your business license. You know, you have to have your tax ID, stuff like that. Super How do we go about getting that? Just you go to uh, you know who's listening. That's why you go to your comptroller. That's you go inspire to, some people. You yeah. go to your local comptroller downtown. Right. You got to figure all that stuff out. You got to get all your tax stuff in order. You Let's gotta help pay, them figure it out. You got to pay your bills. Um, it's it's a lot, man. It's it's a lot of fucking work. You know, obviously, 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 I knew going into this, it was gonna be a lot of hard work, but it's it's way different now. You know. Um, you guys okay? I know, man. Fuck. Moving the table. Um. So yeah. So I I would say step <clears throat> one is figure out what you're gonna do, what your business is. I mean, what what you're gonna be selling, what you're gonna be providing for the public. All right. Um. Step two is figuring out the the logistics of everything. You know, figuring out how things are gonna work. You know, how are you going to be selling things, you know, all that stuff. Uh, get all your tax stuff, like I said, in order. Got to pay your taxes because they will, they want they their money. Them. Yeah, yeah man, they want their money. So so keep good records. Keep great records. You know, keep great records of everything, you know. Uh, and Write-offs? Yeah, I mean. I, what's, some, what's some good resources as far as uh, online uh, for people to check out? For information of that? Yeah, just in general, <clears throat> business-wise, like small business um i mean here in el paso i mean you just gotta, based on your experience yeah, yeah anecdotal 100 percent. i mean here here in el paso you just got to go to the the city uh city of el paso website All and right. just look in they have a lot of information you could go, go to a small uh small, sba yeah small businesses uh association you can go to them they have a wealth of knowledge it, it honestly it's kind of difficult because i didn't go that route you know i didn't go super traditional right, route. Right. you know i was lucky that i found a location uh, I, I, I found a good location. It was super shitty. It was gross. There was, <laughs> there was a homeless man that was living in there. Nice. There's literally shit still in there. Um, so when I got it, just for the record, jam hates homeless people. All right. <laughs> I, I do. It's true. Um, no, actually I, I really don't. I've heard of society. <laughs> I actually try to help as much as I can, believe it or not. The asshole me. Um, <laughs> no, so it was, it, it was a really shitty spot. You know, I, I, I built everything myself. You know, I didn't have uh, initially. I didn't have a lot of money to, to do any of this. Uh, I started with eighty eight dollars. Hmm. You know, I, I I don't share that with a lot of people, but eighty eight dollars is what I had. You know, from after like moving back to El Paso and getting everything like started, I had eighty eight bucks, and that's kind of what how I started started you hunger. You had the hunger though. You got you have to. You know, you you can't. You have to be broken in order to be fixed. You know, and I and I was definitely broken. You know, yeah. I I was at uh, Wits End. With starting from ground zero, starting from uh, starting from scratch, starting from rock bottom. You so know, to speak. D- so DCC had been around. Like I was making stuff. Yeah. 
you know, I was making shirts and I was making hats and stuff. I was shipping them all over the country. Right. Um, I was sh- actually all over the world, sticker packs to like Dubai and yeah, Egypt bro. and Australia and all, all over the world. Like there's, I have my stuff everywhere, you know, nice. but it all started from like sticker slaps and like graffiti, you know, just kind of trading on social media and emailing people. It's kind of almost like pen pals, hmm. you know, and that really helped like that $88 really started everything, you know, um, I gutted the place by myself. I stayed there day and night by myself. You know, yes, I had a, a few people stop by here and there, but nobody's going to work as hard as you are oh, because yeah, it's, your, it's your dream. It's what you want. So the point is, <clears throat> yeah, obviously some businesses take more money than others, but it's doable. It's, it's hustle. It's hard work. Absolutely. It's a dream. Keeping the dream alive uh-huh. and chasing the dream. Chasing the dream, absolutely. It starts with the, with the dream chasing. It starts with the dream, it's, and then after with, that, the work follows, though. Yeah, it's, it definitely starts with the dream, and, you know, you have, to, you have to have an idea of what you want and how bad you really want it. What was your motivation, man? Like, to, what, how did you, not just, the, not, the, not just the initial motivation, but how did you stay motivated day to day? Well, you know, like, like how I How did said, you maintain it? Yeah, well, the thing is, that initially, it started, it started with, with anger. You know, my ex-best friend, oh, okay. you know, talked shit. Back to that so one. I was, I was like, like, man. You had to show him. I was like, I'm going to show this motherfucker, right, 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 like. Right. You know, and, and after that, I was just like, oh, shit, like, this is doable. Like, I'm actually happy doing this. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm, I have no sleep. I'm not eating right. Like, you know, I'm, I'm broke as fuck. <laughs> but I'm, this is the happiest I've ever been, you know. And, and so that's kind of the, that's what's kept me motivating. And, and it, it continues to, to grow. And I, I see it growing. I see and, I, and I could go places now and people will either know me or, or I'll see them wearing something, some of my gear. Get or some I, free shots. Yeah, oh, you don't drink. I don't drink, but I actually I always get offered. If I do go out, I always it's good get, to get the offer though. Yeah, yeah, and I I, I never take them. Um, yeah, so you've seen stickers everywhere. You know, I, I I had people from from the buff hit me up and say, you know, I needed a chill and shit. Um, it's not me. It's my fans. <laughs> it was, yeah, man. So I I, I try to tell them like, no, nah, I'm not doing shit. Like it's not me. I mean, yeah, I, that's how I started. And yeah, yeah, you know, man. Gorilla, gorilla on. Guerrilla marketing is the best marketing That's there the is next to, next to social media. The Guerrilla marketing, like going out there, slapping up stickers. I mean, I hate to say it that I hate, oh, I hate to true. say that, but it's fucking true. When I first moved back, that's all I was doing. I was fucking riding on everything. I was. Let's bring that back, guys. I was, Listeners. Uh, I was riding on everything. Back. I was putting stickers everywhere because I wanted anywhere, anywhere if somebody walked or was driving, I wanted them to just to catch a glimpse of a logo or catch a glimpse of my character and always like keep that in their head. So. That way, the next time they saw it, it was it was memorable. They they had an idea of like, oh shit, like I, I've seen that before. Mm-hmm. You know, it's the same method that like Nike does. You know, and yeah, you know, all these all these major corporations. I, I take cues from stuff like that. Yeah, marketing it, shit. It, and, and they're geniuses. They know what the fuck. Any books you've read based on that? Um, you know what? That icon book. What's it called? Well, what you know, no. Actually, one of my favorite two books are uh, the, the Bill the Bill Gates book. His uh, autobiography. Mm-hmm. And uh, Donald Trump's book. You know, Which one? Just uh, autobiography uh, his, also? His original autobiography. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I know how people feel Donald about Donald Trump book, but it was Donald Trump and Robert Kiyosaki. Okay. When which he, is uh, the real estate yeah, yeah, yeah. magnet. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, what is it? I forgot the title, but it's then together talking yeah, about yeah. real estate, but, but just mo- applying those principles but to. It's mostly the other guys speaking, right? Yeah, yeah, but they're both on the cover. It's both. It's half and half, actually. It's split mm-hmm. into two, in a sense. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're, they're real estate dudes, but they're applying those principles to anything, you know what I'm saying, business-wise. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yo, yo, what kind of music is inspiring you right now? Music? Yeah. What kind of music is inspiring you right now? LFTC, dog. LFTC, dog. <laughs> um, or, or, or even in past stuff, like, what, what gets you excited to... Not right, maybe not right now, but like, we'll get you incited, like inspired, like. You know what? I, what I what I really really like, I I can never get away from, and I always find mm-hmm. if I'm if I don't know what to listen to, it's always like my go to is is MF Doom. Oh shit! You know, yeah. MF Doom. Madeline, Madeline, man. The Madeline album was one of the best albums. You know, ever made. Huh? so for the record, I don't know if y'all cool with that. <laughs> <laughs> get cool then. The listeners have never heard of MF Doom. Um. <laughs> I recite your every lyric right now. Oh shit! Oh, God. <laughs> Karaoke. Um, Doom. Uh, I fucking I'm a sucker for uh, new job is. I don't know if that's how we say it, but that's the way I say it. That's the way I always say that shit. That is how you Look say that shit up. <coughs> is it new job is? New job is. Come on, new James, new Jabbies. <laughs> no, it is not. It's <laughs> new job is. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I never know how to say I it. Take but shots it. in the dark. Yeah. New job is, dude. And you, James. Stuff. 
What else, man? What else? New Jeeps. New Jeeps. What else? Abbey's. Um, what else? I'm I'm a gangstar. Ooh, sure. I'm I'm a I'm a I, I, I'm a hip hop head. I mean, yeah, I don't know yeah, as, no much as, 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 as much as as much as you. Did you go you. to? Uh, I don't go anywhere. Prime? No. Huh? Fuck. Well, I bring yeah, premiere for you. You're a gangster. Are you a fan of the the Prime album? Yeah, 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 for sure. Shit is fucking next I, level. See, yeah, I bring the, I bring these shows. Nobody goes. Man. <laughs> no, you know. There? I know, but for the turnout, it was a good turnout, but it should have been better. I agree. jam over there at home. You know. The thing is, honestly, like it, watching it, porn. It, it, it did. Uh, it was called Prime as well. The prime. It was episode. a different kind of Prime though. Yeah. <laughs> we're prime it up. Get it Prime. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, uh, I I don't go. Honestly, I don't go out at all. You know, that's just part of <laughs> what I've learned. For, is it part for, of your sobriety or what? Um, yeah, it's definitely, definitely part of my sobriety. Talk but, about the sobriety, man. Why and when, where, what inspired it? And um, I'll let Bobby be the listener because I have to pee. <laughs> um, as he's coughing in my ear, I, I'll explain to him. As he's Excuse coughing me, in the ear. Oh. I'm like, I'm out over here. <laughs> <laughs> you want some water? No, you, I don't. You want me to pat your back? I drink water, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Water's for pussies. I drink uh, electrolyte. <laughs> Actually, early in the morning. Electrolytes. Does that one? Does it? Fuji? Is that Fuji? That's my favorite. Uh, Fiji. It's my favorite. Fuji's as well. is a different. Fuji is uh, <laughs> my hometown. I believe it. Yeah. Um. What was I saying? What was, what was I being asked? Oh, sobriety. Sobriety. Um. Yeah. It's been like honestly. I like I said once again. I, I don't keep dates. I don't. I don't know fucking numbers. It could be a day, and I could be lying. You but said eight years earlier. It's like yeah, seven, eight years. I would say uh, uh completely sober. <laughs> Huh? What brought it on? I brought it on. Uh, <laughs> my crazy lifestyle. I used to be a way different person. I, like, you know, we all have our past. Um, yeah, for sure. I, I used to be crazy, man. I used to try to keep up with everybody, and I would surpass everybody, and I would drink everybody under the table, and I would always be by myself, like a loser. And then I, yeah. Yeah, you know, sitting with, with my bottle of Jack, you know, that was my best. That's cool. It's been a long time, though, so I'm sure it's just like, uh, it's like second nature to you to deny this or that, right? Or do you still feel like there's some sort of a I'm, temptation I, there? There's not temptation to drink. There's temptation to be social. Word. You know, word. so I don't, I, I don't miss so, the, ta- the taste. I don't miss hangovers. You know, yeah. when, when I actually did get them, I, did, I don't miss that. So I, have you ever considered maybe like, maybe I'll have a drink socially? Um, um, no. No? I don't, absolutely not, no. I, what, because you feel like it'll just spiral down, back down? like the I, I have such an addictive personality. Yeah, if yeah, I like the same something, way. If I like something, I, I fucking love it, and that's yeah, my shit. No doubt. You know, I'll, I'll, if I like a certain food, I'll eat there every fucking day because yeah, I like it so much. Yeah, the same thing. So, um, so no, I, I, I try to stay away. I don't, I don't think much about it. I, I really consume myself so much in work, which it's not really work to me, that I don't have time for anything else. Like, I, you, I, So I, you don't eat? I never eat. Um, it's been about four years now that I've... So you're, I, you're a sun gazer. I, I feed off the sun, I yo. do. I actually just lay out naked with my arms stretched out. You get, yo, it, it only happens for 40 minutes after the like, sun rises past the horizon, dude. Zero UVs. Get there. <laughs> Where you at, UVs? Um, no, I mean, of course I eat. What kind of food do you like to eat, dog? Uh, I eat the same three fucking food groups, man. Pizza, tacos, and burgers. That's all I eat, man. I mean, that's... That's my life. I have, I have a lot of food allergies, so I have to stick to a small, like, regimen of, of uh, diet. The dope shit. The, the best <laughs> shit. Like, yeah, like, jokes on everybody. Why? So people can poison me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Shit, Yo, what's the dopest burger spot in town? Yeah. Oh, you about to start drama and shit. No, nah, well, how's that? Like, you're, you're related to some... some um, Burger shit? Oh, no, I was like, what's the best burger spot in town? Uh, I, I heard Tutu's is on there. I live like I've never, right, I've never been there. I live like right down the street, and I've never Frisco. been there either. I was gonna say Frisco's Frisco. pretty Frisco's gangster. Shit. Frisco's gangster. Chuco burger's pretty good. It's pretty close. Chuco. Chuco burger. My, what, uh, what, what was the other one? The, the one that was on Piedras for a minute. Papa bird. Papa. Papa was pretty yeah, legit. It's alright. Yeah. yeah. There. Yeah, they're, they're, they're fading out though, huh? There's like four of them in a the plus now. <laughs> I like how he just starts drama and shit. He's like, yeah, fuck those right, burgers, right? Out. Our business is bad. <laughs> I mean, what do you want to be like all super nice about everything? Yeah, man, fuck, be nice. I'm nice. Somebody turn this heater on? I'm nice enough. Yeah. It's been on? Yes. Damn, it's, it's gonna come on right again. I should feel like I was like, it's gonna be on the podcast. No. It's been on all the whole time. 
Ah, oh, because it's gonna sound like shit now. <laughs> I didn't realize it was on the whole time. Oh shit! That so sounds, listeners, that sounds clear. No, it'll hey, sound uh, good, but you'll know, hear. Do you do, do, live, hear art? It. do, you do live art? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, have that's, you done, that's, have you done La Parada? I have. I've done La Parada yeah, twice. Seen, yeah. Nice. I've done it twice. Um, Why well, I, I did? Uh, I painted the mural on the museum, so that was uh, live art. Him, What's the name of that character? The, the Dream bunny? Monster. Dream Monster. Yeah. Everyone calls it a bunny, but it's it not looks a bunny. like a damn bunny, man. It's not my fault. I. I <laughs> I hear bunny, I hear fucking penis, I've heard, you oh. name it, dog, I've heard everything. The rabbit, the, the vibrator? The vibrator, the yeah. Rabbit. The rabbit? The rabbit. The rabbit. The rabbit. Penis? The rabbit. I, I, don't see a, I don't see a fucking penis mask yet. Well, cause if it's a male that told you that, you already know what their orientation is. It was male, actually. Actually, it's been multiple males that said that. <laughs> Yeah, um, no, no but the, the thing is, looks like a penis, dog. Looks like a penis, dog. Slug slap in the arm. Stop slapping. Is that a penis? Actually, no. I mean, when I first started doing it, it was more like taller and more phallic, I guess you can say, mm. you know, than what it is now. I still, mm. I still, oh. <laughs> shit. What does it mean? <laughs> hey, how, how did you get that gig? Who booked it or what? How does it, um, they reach out to you or how does that work? Well, I was, uh, I was running at the time. I was the one in charge for the, the arts for the, the pop-up <laughs> mercado on Saturdays right. downtown uh, in front of, uh, in front of uh, Tabla. Heard of it. Oh, okay, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so uh, I was, I was the one that was kind of doing all the, getting all the artists, you know, approving all, right. all the artists and shit. And Ben Five, which is he's the, like the art director for the city of El Paso. Not to be confused with Ben Folds Five. <laughs> ben Folds Five. <laughs> um, uh, he approached me. He's actually bought tons of my art. Oh, for real. And um, shout he, out to Ben Five. He's dope. He, you know, he's a super good people. And approached me and asked me, would you be interested in painting the museum? And like anything in El Paso, I'm pretty sure you agree. Like yeah, the the, pr the proof's in the pudding, you know. Like yeah. until you actually come with it, with, either with money or you say like we're really gonna do this. And it I was don't, a big piece, though. It was huge. It's actually the biggest piece I've ever done. Like, yeah. and not only was it large in scale, but the the building's actually rounded. Mm, so, so you had to. So I had to accommodate that it, just for that. So it was really hard. So he asked me, and then he said, "It's this is gonna be like next year," and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah whatever." And Three months prior to Chalk the Block, I got an email from this guy, Chris, which runs part of the department. Mm. And um, he basically said, are you still wanting to do it? And I was like, oh, shit. Like, well, yeah. I already forgot about it. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. I mean, I was like, well, yeah, of course. And I still at that time, I didn't believe it. And I was like, well, not until I see like a contract or something. And yeah. he's like, um, we're going to send you a contract right now. And I got it instantly. And, <laughs> you know, uh, they asked me, they didn't even ask me like how much I wanted because I was ready in my head. I was like, I'm going to ask for this much. So I'm not going to back down you know i deserve it like you work hard and they 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 paid me more than i was gonna ask for sweet so um it was dope you know and they paid for all my supplies and uh they wanted me to <clears throat> they wanted me to paint for two days instead of just one day so i painted the two days and it was a lot of fun um it was a total of eight hours mm. for that huge piece and came out sick so. thank you and it was i'm still to this day i i i, I miss seeing it because it's actually just down the street from my gallery I miss seeing it, and I can't, I can't believe I actually I did it. Like, it, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, it's something yeah. that I think any artist that, or street artist always wants to do it bigger and better. And it, it to me it was like the biggest like fuck you to everybody that like doubted me. Yeah, guys, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you guys. <laughs> fuck you guys. Um, oh not in a bad way. It's just nah, like no, you know, no, it, no, it, was, it was a it was it was a great affirmation. Af that I'm yeah, it was a great affirmation yeah. for me saying like fuck, like what I'm doing is isn't stupid, or what I'm doing is, is nah, meant for something. Not. So. You got you know you know you got mad love and support. I hope so. For sure, Sweet Jesus Radio for sure. Oh, thank you. Upcoming Jesus. projects. Mm, upcoming projects. Well, every month I have different uh, art shows at the gallery. This uh, next Thursday I have uh, a sketchbook show. It's called It Begins Here, and the concept is really to show kind of behind the scenes, you know, so the average person that doesn't really know a lot about art or they're wanting to learn about art more or. Maybe they have a favorite artist, and they kind of want to see where everything starts. So I have about 20 artists, 10 from El Paso, and about a little bit over 10 from L.A. Mm. So I got a whole bunch of sketchbooks shipped down to me from homies out there, and uh, they're going to be on display. Just one so page open on display. Next Thursday, then? Next Thursday, right. from 7 to 11 p.m. And the, so if it's the actual... like that, then we'll, we'll drop this one next. Then. Just, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's... Please do. Since it's time sensitive. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, sorry, Otis Six, you're gonna have to wait another week. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I gotta edit the shit out of that episode. I need that. No, I need to edit the shit out of that episode. Yeah. You I shared way too much about myself. Oh god. <laughs> that episode yeah, is crazy. 
It's, 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 I go hard on that episode. <laughs> I go hard on myself. That's because that motherfucker brought tequila, uh, vodka. Uh, we had beers over there. just came through with a bunch of goodies. Oh, hey. That's so bad now. Hey, but I'll fun. always have the, the raw version. I have, I have some all toys you guys can have. Mm, I'm more of a Tom's guy. <laughs> Go for it. They're the minis. Hey, they got calcium. <laughs> hey, but. I got to re-up right now. <laughs> got to re-up. I went, I went pretty hard on that episode. But yeah. I was listening in today. Like, today I was. You're like, oh, shit, shit what did I say? I like, started crying. I cried. Was, I laughed. Uh, we had a tickle I cried, fight. I laughed. Me and Bobby had a tickle fight. What? <laughs> we did say some joke about. What? It was like a pull out joke. Pull it out. Pull it out? Do it. It'll, it'll drop soon. Oh, I'm, yeah, I remember I'm, that. It's still going to be that. funny, but like I have to take out a lot of shit. So, Jesus, what kind of upcoming shows do you have? Oh, shit, dog. Really? I have oh, a sure. Switches Radio with a jam coming out soon. I like, out I like yeah. that. Well, with a jam. I think called the jam. The jam. Oh no no no! I get it. I get it. No, but I mean, like, you're gonna do some shows, huh, with Sweet Jesus Radio? <laughs> like, I, like live, live Jesus Radio, dude. You wanna do that? Actually, technically, yes. Uh, but it's gotta get a little bit bigger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I said. Hey, let's do it at the gallery. You That'd guys, are, dope. you guys are welcome. Holy shit! We just gotta get. We have to make it an event. See, like when you're doing uh, live podcasting, all of a sudden you're you have to talk to the crowd. Mm. It's not like this anymore it's like you're kind of doing this now yeah, do it. you know what i'm saying hey, I, a, a, a jam my, my dj we'll, we'll use jams pull to get people in there <laughs> oh god i don't know what if i had a pool but boom, boom, boom. anyways let's see i'd love the dj for 50 dollars <laughs> <laughs> so do you see yourself here man for the foreseeable future El Paso or what um i mean El Paso will always be my home base <coughs> hopefully uh if it, everything works out and looks like it is uh DCC LA will be happening at the nice. end of this year. Ooh, congrats. So, thank you. You heard Big. it here first. So, um, so, yeah, so I'm doing DCC LA. Uh, so I'll, hopefully I'll be, you know, commuting back and forth a couple nice, months here, a couple nice. months there. Well, I mean, we'll see how it goes. Some big things in the works. I mean, uh, you always got to keep on moving. You always got to yeah. keep yeah. progressing. Progressing. Uh, I, I, I think that's really important, you know, in any business is to show progression. Oh, uh, yeah. So you got to show that you did something more than the year before. In a sense. Well, yeah. I mean, it, you can't stay stagnant. You always yeah. have to, well, if not for yourself, yeah, yeah. If not for yourself, you have to show people. The thing is, people love to see progression. What's your favorite thing about El Paso? My favorite thing about El Paso. Name a few things. Uh, women. I, yeah, man, that's my favorite. You know, honestly, like I've got lived, some hot ass. Dude, I've, been, I, I've traveled. I've, I, yeah, I've, I know I've, you've traveled. I've, I've traveled. I know Bobby's traveled. I've lived a lot of El different Paso's, places. I mean, I've lived in Long Beach, LA. Ladies, you we're know, saying it. We're saying it here on Sweet Jesus Radio. I honestly have some to say, per, per capita, there's way more hot chicks in El Paso Jeez. than there is anywhere else. You could go outside and see like three, four hot chicks in yeah. LA. You could, you could spend a couple of days not seeing anything. So, and there's, I, I don't know. I was in New York for the past, like this whole past summer, and there's a ton of hot chicks That's in New York, so but I believe it, but I mean, but yeah, per El, Paso, capita, El Paso has the, like, per the capita. Like, no, El Paso's got like, just like, like nines, like tens all over the place. Just oh, gorgeous. Yeah. No tens? Damn. No, I mean, there is tens, but I'm just saying like, don't, don't. Not I, I, I'm, I'm, not my stands are low, huh? <laughs> don't pick the funk, man. <laughs> yeah, don't pick the funk, hey, Bobby. What I, what I, what I say 10, that ain't saying much. <laughs> <laughs> that means, uh, I don't even know what that means, but I'm just going to laugh. Really <laughs> it's kind of cool. The hell yeah, yeah, that's low. I think or high. Good for you. The point point being, there's some hotties here. Yeah. So uh, I would say women are are gorgeous. Um, everyone says opossums are friendly. I don't. I don't. I don't think opossums are. No, they're I don't not. think they are. Man. I'm not. You know, in the East Coast where I was, I mean, people are very short well, and rude. It depends. But they're super genuinely nice. Like once they know you, people are fucking nice. I guess it depends what you're looking for, man. It's also because so some people you proved yourself. So some people are easily people offended. Are cool here, and then they see you got some shit going on, and they're like, "Oh, fuck yeah, that's cool. what I'm saying." <laughs> yeah. There's that. That's what yeah. I'm saying. It depends what yeah what you define as nice, because some people I don't want to say people are rude. It's just they make it seem like we're fucking. Some people are easily offended. Uh, there's people that. You know, you bump into somebody that's kind of as blunt as you, and you're like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. hey, that guy's cool. And, and, and I, I and those, are, like those are the people I love. I, I love too, blunt, same here. blunt people, real, don't Boom. bullshit. Hell yeah. You know, um, this came guy to the back right here place. is asleep. He came to the right place. He's asleep. Uh, he looks very comfortable right now. 
He's ah, oh, he woke up. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. I think people in El Paso are nice enough. No, I think they're very nice, but they make it seem like we're fucking nah, yeah. the nicest Fuck place on no. earth. Because nah, they're not they're not nice to me half the damn time. <laughs> so many haters. Oh shit. Fucking okay. mouth close to the mic. Oh, making out with the mic. He just lipped it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what does that matter? Huh? Jesus, can I make a I mean, joke? Jesus, Jesus, sweet Jesus radio. Sweet Jesus radio. What does it matter, sweet Jesus radio? <laughs> so you don't go out at all? At all. No. Yeah, damn, that's good. That saves you a lot of money, dog. Yeah, so well, you, you about to go right now. live music or anything like that? The, 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 the thing is, I really do. Like, I, you support I, any bands I support besides all, the LFDC? Have you I ever support, seen them live? I support uh, Call for Candor, Animal Soul. I've heard of them. Um... <clears throat> You know, we have so much talent here. That's the thing is I do support everybody. That's what I'm saying. I, there's like, so much. actually go out and see them, though, live or not. I have. I, I have. Uh, I have gone. You so know, you're like, you're selective. Though. Oh, did you say Animal Soul? Yeah. 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 So this this Friday, um, oh, I'll be supporting shit. Great Shapes. Oh, spinning? Animal oh, Soul. Shapes. I'll be great supporting shapes. Great Shapes, Animal Shout Soul. Somos Elefantes at I Lowbrow. Plug, plug, plug. Five the Five dollar cover, and I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'll be, I'll be. Myself, Rob Bass, will be filling in tracks of all varieties between the bands. Holy anyway, shit. <laughs> plug, 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 plug here, plug there. No, but um, hey, I think you, you dropped the name there. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. Because no, it's funny because he looked. Like orange, dude. <laughs> it's funny because he really looked, and he was like, "Oh shit, I did, huh?" <laughs> I did drop that shit. I, the I even said name and I was like, oh, damn. I was like midway through look. Um, I, honestly, I, I support. Th th there's so much talent here. So, yeah, I do support. I, I do feel bad that I don't go. Even to like, sometimes I don't go to like, you know, LFTC shows. I do feel bad. Um, it does weigh on me. Honestly, it really, truly does. So, I do apologize to all my homies that are making things happen. But. Just like personal guys. Yeah, just the thing is, like, just as hard as they are working, I'm doing the same yeah. damn thing. So it's not like I'm at home fucking eating yeah, Cheetos and, your and shit. Yeah, no, I'm I'm still working. working like, yeah. I work typically 18-hour days, and that's damn. fucking real. Like, 18 to 20-hour days. You that's got to be the minimum if you're, if you're trying, to, trying to make the dreams come true. You know, the morning is emails and social media. Then once I'm at the gallery, I'm, I have at least two, three meetings a day minimum. I don't know hmm. how that happens, but it's every single day. And then, uh, of course, I'm working there at the gallery. Once I get home, it's my website. And it's back to doing a little social media because social media is important. People don't realize how, like, all of a sudden you're doing that little busy work. It's like busy work, but all of a sudden, like, two no. hours went by. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, three that's why I was talking about. It's a minimum of two to three hours a like, day not, for But business. people that don't know that shit, they don't realize that's work. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's that work. shit, it's work, it's tedious, and the time flies. All of a yeah. sudden, it's... Three hours and the by. thing is, I, I really don't like social media. Like, I, I, I'm, I don't. But it's a necessary. I, I don't like. To, evil, I don't like so to see to people crying about like oh, yeah, baby mamas. Like, I mean, I, it sucks that it's happening to you, but there's something that you just shouldn't put out, on, yeah. you know, on social media. But, <laughs> but the thing is, like, it, it is work. Like, it does no, suck. I, like, I, trust me. I mean, I wake up every day, like, typically at seven. I know that. And I'm, I'm ready, like, answering emails, texting people back, like. I mean, it's just business, and I don't yeah. know where it even fucking comes from. Like, sometimes I'm like, why are people calling me? Like, I'm, yeah. who am I? Like, I'm nobody, yeah. but. I got, I got to keep up, you know. I got to keep gotcha. up with it. Hell yeah, dog! Shit. Any parting words? Um, Let's say this before the parting <clears throat> words. Where can uh, everybody find you or DCC the the shop on social media? Okay, so uh, Instagram, it's uh, at DCC underscore Dream Chasers Club. Uh, pretty much all the other social media like uh, Twitter and Tumblr and all that stuff. Uh, it's DRM C H R S. CLB, which spells out Dream Chasers Club, is just abbreviated. Um, I'm on Facebook. You know, if you want to be my friend, we could be friends on Facebook. Um, which I mean, I really don't want to, but I mean, if you want to, <laughs> the asshole's coming out. The asshole's coming out. Really um, we could holler uh, Snapchat. It's the same thing for Snapchat. Uh, my website is uh, dccdreamchasersclub.com. The store is uh, 200 South Santa Fe. It's downtown. What's the nearest cross street? Uh, it's Santa Fe and San Antonio. It's right across the street Boom. from the Greyhound bus station. You Perfect. won't, you won't, uh, you won't miss it. And right. we have shows, at least two shows, uh, uh, every month. I have LA artists coming in. I'm actually a really well-known, for the most part, well-known artist is coming in, I believe, June or July. Mm. He was on the street art, uh, throwdown on Bravo, I believe. I think it was yeah. on Bravo. I've heard of it. Um, one of the artists that was on the show, he's actually coming down. He's going to do a solo show. Nice. So it's pretty cool. 
So I'm working really hard to get my LA, you know, my California peeps down here. Oh yeah, dog. And that's pretty much it, man. I mean, oh, yeah. holler at me. Any other any shout outs or final words? Uh, because Toby didn't do it last time, and I actually oh. uh, I got mad at him oh, because oh, he didn't do oh, it. Oh, oh. Uh, shout Shots out to fired. Toby. Shout out to fucking. <laughs> he to, didn't shut you up. Well, Matt, you guys were talking about dreams and all this. Like, he kept on missing I the word remember. dream and chasing. And I'm like, come on, like, just damn, fucking say it. And, damn, but I know, me. but I know, I know you get caught up in shit. Oh, yeah. So, so, Especially when the headphones and the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, the head, you the, miss the things. Mic, yeah, and, yeah. yeah. So, uh, no, those are my, that's my fam. So, shout out to, uh, to LFDC, man. All of them. Um, shout out to my moms, my pops, oh, my yeah, grandma. Yeah. Bobby, you guys. Final words. Thank you, sir. Oh, oh shit. God. <laughs> Bobby on the mic. Here it goes. So, like a what, what's, going, what's going on this weekend? Uh, um, anyway, yes, nah, that's right. I mean, this shit ain't gonna drop till like next Wednesday. I'm trying to do a Wednesday drop. I'm oh, trying to do like Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. next Wednesday. Never mind. So, the show, the show this week will be irrelevant. But uh, yo, DJ T, <laughs> D, 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 no, I, I'm talking about the one I was in the promo. Oh, yeah. No, no, but yo, DJ T, LNAC show. That shit, that shit's coming up in a couple weeks. You should find tickets on Eventbrite, DJT, LNSC. Uh, the date is of two. I think it's like February, okay, the first or we second week of February. Bing it. Yeah, Bing that. <laughs> and, uh, and actually, uh, if it's coming out then, like uh, next Friday, which is the 29th, I'll be playing with Rico Ferry for his album release oh. party. Shout out to Rico Ferry. Uh, yeah, the, the, yeah, all those dudes will be in effect. I'll be with my man, Systematic, and oh, uh, shout the Systematic. Big old, big old up system, my man, System A, and the Blaine Train. So Blaine Train, hit it up, dude. Everybody's, my boss. everybody's gonna be up in there. <laughs> Low cover. Yo, say my name at the door. Get it for free. D, any final words? <laughs> any final word? I didn't really have many words today. Boom, right here. <laughs> He's, don't act like you ain't familiar. Oh, you want me to? Uh, no final words, just that the any uh, shout outs, any yeah, uh, shout out to Desert Heat, uh, Desert Heat.biz online and Desert Heat on Facebook. We just relaunched the website. Have we had so Jam on Desert Heat or not? We have not had Jam we on Desert Heat. Should we or not? Um, <clears throat> we can, we, we definitely I'd can. I'd love to, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we so just relaunched the site. Together. Yes, looking, looking for music submissions always. So hit it up, like us on Facebook. We're on all social media. Cool, awesome. Like so like a boss. <laughs> Shout out to L Stu Recording Studio located at 7702 North Loop. Guys, recording studio, reasonable prices, great sound. Just come through in person. Um, again, there's the Facebook page for that. So just being it. Uh, so we just, <laughs> why do people have a B? It's Bill Gates, guys. On that being. <laughs> I'm not being too. Hey, I don't like on that bang. Bang. They're Hashtag badass. Bang. They're a fucking pirate. Hashtag They're a bang. virus site. <laughs> Bing, send us some money quick. <laughs> Shout out to Google. Thank you. Google. Hey. Actually, uh, uh, Google me and I'll be the number one. Uh, the other Google search thing. engine. Hash, uh, the AKA best. The other search. Person. Google AKA the other search engine. Google uh, Dream Chasers Club. Okay. It'll always come up as the, the first, first one. Off I work my ass off go, to go, make sure that the off first off. thing's like SEO. on the computer. Okay. Yeah uh guys if you like what you hear please share when i post it if you're listening on itunes give it a five star rating if you can yep. i'd appreciate it uh give it the heart on soundcloud give it the thumbs up on stitcher.com you can find us on those three mediums and outlets uh with that said peace out yep. peace out sweet jesus radio hey. later Oh yeah, shout out to the guy on the couch. Yeah, he woke up. I thought he was dead, but he's alive. He's alive and his hair looks great. So, eating some tater tots. <laughs> Sweet Jesus Radio. <laughs>